as well as 30 days of sketches series 12. Um, so I just showed you the sketch for today. This is day 21 sketch and it was created by Crystal from Pineapple Papers. And I'm just going through my kits and trying to decide which one I think is going to work the best for this particular sketch. I'm not going in the order that I created the kits this time. That's usually what I do. This time around, I'm just going to go through and kind of pick the right sketch for, or the right kit for the right sketch. I created the kits with the sketches in mind, but not necessarily a specific sketch to each specific kit, if that makes sense. So, uh, yeah, this is the page that I decided to, to kind of put together. I felt like it had enough papers to be able to do the two corners that you see in crystals, as well as a bunch of layers in behind the picture. I'm doing a 12 by 12 and crystals kind of looks more like it's maybe an eight and a half by 11 or nine, nine by 12 or one of those other kind of smaller sizes. And I probably could have picked one of the pages that I included in these kits that is designed for my eight and a half by 11 album. But I think that this sketch works really good to stretch into any size or shrink into any size you want. So you could even use this sketch to create a smaller page, uh, like a six by six page or a six by eight page. Um, or it works really good as you can see stretching it to a larger page. So I love sketches like that, that are really kind of versatile and flexible and open to whatever you might want to interpret them and whatever supplies you might have that you're creating with. So it's always so much fun. Um, so yeah, so I'm starting off by creating my corners and I'm, I'm scrapping a Father's Day photo. I kind of pulled that photo out because obviously Father's Day is in June here in Canada. And so I like to occasionally do some stuff like that where you know in February I like to do a couple of Valentine's layouts and in um, March or April whenever Easter might be I like to throw in some Easter that kind of thing so I wanted to do at least one Father's Day picture in June so that's what I'm doing here and I'm basically following the sketch I'm just stretching it to the the dimensions that I have and working with the supplies I have so I'm going to pop my photo down in the general area I did include a lot of six by six papers here and so my corners weren't quite kind of taking up as much of the the page as it looks like they do on the sketch and that's why I put a couple of layers in there just to kind of give myself a a larger corner I guess you could say and then I went ahead and decided that the one corner that looks just a little bit smaller is where I'm going to put my picture cluster because it just kind of balances everything out and then I really didn't look at the sketch to build my layers. I think that that for me is a much more kind of organic approach, especially when you're using a sketch. You have to use the supplies that you have and work with the picture that you have and kind of make things work. And every single time you create something like this, where it's just this really fun layered cluster, it's going to look completely different. So Knowing what the sketch has and the kind of general area of um, where this cluster was and just kind of the the sense of what it, it looks like or the inspiration behind it, um, that's all I was working with. And then it was just really up to what supplies did I put in my kit that were gonna that was gonna work with this kind of big, picture cluster and lots of layers and textures and stuff so that's kind of why I picked this kit for this sketch is because I knew that I had put lots of these little two by two squares in there and some larger um, ephemera pieces like that big large yellow piece I just popped down and so I knew that I would be able to build up all the layers using those elements and so that's all I'm doing is putting them together in ways that look appealing. This is like my favorite thing to do in scrapbooking is just 
finding ways to nestle things together, layer things together, tucking little elements in here and there. I find it super therapeutic because I feel like I don't have to be too picky. I don't have to kind of find all those little perfect places. Um, you're just looking for everything to kind of have a cozy little home and you, you want to see a touch of every color and a touch of every pattern and kind of balance things out. So as an example, I put that fun, 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 fun piece on the right hand side. I ripped a piece off of that and so I had a little bit of that same color. I popped it over to the other side. So just kind of balancing out some of those bolder colors, balancing out some, some of the patterns. If I put a lot of writing on one side, I kind of want to match that on the other side, either with more writing or maybe that's where I'm going to put a title or my journaling, that kind of thing. So really it's just what your eye feels looks right and having everything balance out. So I had some things kind of jetting out, the the fun, 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 and then the other, um, it says our big happy family. That was all kind of coming off of the right-hand side. And so to balance that, I wanted to make sure to have some writing and have something kind of jetting out from the left-hand side. So that's why I put um, that little piece that says, um, I think it says together we're better. And then I put my cluster up at the top. I made sure there was all kind of a mixture of colors, a mixture of patterns, um, lots of writing because there's lots of writing in the main cluster. So that's that's kind of how I do it. I think that's probably how a lot of people do it. You just really go by feel when it comes to this type of thing. And so for me, it's just super therapeutic because it's really the, you know, stick and plonk concept of not having to overthink and really just following your gut and so once I got all my layers together they are all from different manufacturers they come from different places um, you can watch the video where I put my kits together if you want to kind of see them in more detail and and see what exactly I'm pulling out from where but essentially I have this iris container just filled with lots of random fun little bits and that's what I opened up and I just pulled things using the color scheme of that rainbow paper that I have as my background. So everything's a big mishmash. And again, that is so much fun when you're putting together lots of layers and clusters like this. It's just really fun to have lots of kind of random bits poking out and, and peeking out from all of your layers. So that's basically how I put it all together. And now I'm going to finish it off with some of these flat back little uh, kind of half pearls that I got from Timu. I have a haul coming up to show you some of the crafty goodness that I got from Timu, um, but I just really loved these ones. They're they're kind of black and have a little bit of iridescence to them, and so I thought they were a good contrast from all of the colors. And then I'm gonna splatter with a little bit of blue. Kaylin was just there helping me pick which blue to splatter with. And that's it. That is my layout. I'm losing my voice. I'm sorry. Um, that is my layout for today. Thank you so, so much for watching. I really appreciate it. All of the links are down below so you can check out everybody who's playing along with 30 Days of Sketches as well as the Build-A-Page ladies. And uh, I will be back again tomorrow. So stay tuned for that. If you haven't clicked subscribe, please do. I would super appreciate it. And until next time, happy scrapping. Bye. Bye. Thanks. Give me to rub button to my channel.